open fart. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Now I don't normally make videos about bug release updates from Tesla. So we've just jumped from 2019.40.50.1 up to .5. And you can see here the release notes uh, have not changed at all. Everything is the same, which means they just did some improvements in the background. But I thought this was an important video to make because there have been a lot of complaints of bugs specifically with the voice commands, um, but also my complaints about being stuck in the left lane on hardware 2.5. So I figured I would make a quick video about this. Before we get into it, I have to say thank you to my newest patrons. All right, and a few more additions to the front. Guys, this is getting ridiculous. So I think what I'm gonna have to do, this is my vacuum. I keep a little vacuum in the front. I'm gonna have to move this to the trunk. And also, I think I'm gonna move my extra Tesla charging stuff. That's also gonna go in the trunk. So this is just full of patrons now. I do this so that I can keep you guys with me all the time. So here are our newest patrons. We have Tor, Autopilot 1.0. We got Dan, Autopilot 1.0. We got Matt, Enhanced Autopilot. And we got Sam M, Autopilot 1.0. Thank you all so much. Oh, we have to, you know, we got to get that Tasmanian logo showing still. There's the whole family, all my patrons. I keep you guys with me all the time. Thank you so much. Stephanie and I really appreciate it. If you didn't know, these are designed and made by Stephanie. And there are more of you coming. You will be in the next video. Thank you all so much. So I'm heading towards the highway because I want to test out, you know, being stuck in the left lane. But on the way there, let's check some of these voice commands. So even before getting this update, mine actually seemed to fix themselves. So right now I wanted to do it here because we're in like a rural area. This is where I live on the dirt roads, of course. And the service is not very good. Sometimes I can't even send a text when I'm in this area. So let's see how this works. Set seat heater to one. Okay, so that worked perfectly. It was really fast. Now there was a bug that I noticed before. Set seat heater to medium. And it says, oh, it set all of them, which is fine, but it set them all to three. It set them to high, even though it heard me say medium. So that bug was not fixed. Set driver's seat heater to two. Okay, so now you can see it did change me to medium. So if you want medium, you have to say two. You can't say medium. Turn off all seat heaters. Disabling all seats. So this is happening really fast. And again, my cell service, I have AT&T on my phone, which is what Tesla uses for their LTE. It's not that good here. And this is working really fast, really well. So there was some speculation that this was a server side issue. Uh, it could still be, I really don't know. But at least for me on this newest update, it, see, it seems pretty fixed. Sorry, the roads are very bumpy. Set driver seat heater to two. Set. Okay, so there I just got, uh, it was a little buggy, a little laggy, which is weird because it's been working the whole time. Now I did find an Easter egg. There are Easter eggs in here. Um, somebody may have found this already, but this is not the one I've seen. Um, what is the answer to life? So you get a star here, the answer to life. It has the quote from the book. This video is sponsored by the Model 3 Part Shop. You can use the code Dirty Tesla to get 15% off anything site-wide. Link to their website is in the description. So I've been trying a bunch of these different Easter eggs. I can't seem to find any more. So another thing I was noticing with this update that some people were complaining about, but not others on hardware 2.5, I don't know about hardware 3, is ping-ponging inside the lanes where the car kind of within the lane kind of moves back and forth. I personally was seeing this. Uh, actually, it was being kind of dramatic. I, I think I have some footage. Uh, let me show you that. I don't know if you can tell on camera. At least for now, it seems much better. I was noticing it on this exact road in very similar conditions, and now it does not seem to be happening. Um, it's easier for you to tell if I speed it up. You can see it in the time lapse. So another thing people were talking about was you could turn on a heated steering wheel, turn on heated steering wheel. So steering wheel heater enabled. Um, so that's pretty funny, but of course there isn't one in here. People would have discovered that long ago. Um, so that is pointing to either a future update for the Model 3 and Model Y, or it's just left over from, you know, of course the S and the X 
uh, used to have or, or currently have, I'm not sure, the heated steering wheel. So for hardware 2.5, still no option here for us to uh, enable the stop signs and stop lights. So pretty disappointing, but hopefully uh, quarter one, hardware three will be going out really quickly to all of us that have full self-driving and hardware 2.5. So I'm gonna use this video to also address some concerns I've heard with this update. Another concern I've heard from some all-wheel drive owners is that their acceleration doesn't seem as good. And I think people are kind of speculating that Tesla has nerfed the all-wheel drive again just a little bit to maybe motivate people to buy the boost. Um, I haven't noticed that at all. I'll step on it here. I, I don't think that's true, but it's a comment that I've received multiple times. Okay, so here we go. Nobody around. And yeah, I mean, that feels, feels pretty normal to me. Not as good as the boost. <laughs> that boost is pretty amazing, but uh, no, it feels, feels the same as it did before the update. Okay, so we're about to get on the highway here. I am just navigating home and going the wrong way, of course. And we will see if the car gets out of the passing lane. I really don't think this will be fixed until that second number, so the 2019.40. Until that 40 number is updated, I really don't think that's going to be fixed. Um, but I hope uh, in the next week uh, release build, uh, the second number is the week of the year, hope it gets fixed. So autopilot doing all this. A uh, little, <laughs> little fast with that, but it's doing, wow, okay, it's doing really good with that turn. So onto the on-ramp here and I'll let the car handle all this and let's get in the passing lane. Okay, so the car is changing into the faster lane all on its own. I did not do that, I'm not doing this. Uh, and again, we'll wait once we pass this car and see if it'll get out of the passing lane. So yeah, I would have expected it to do it by now uh, and now it's going to only change lanes just to follow route. So pretty unfortunate, that's still not fixed, but. I will keep complaining about it. And again, we're changing just to follow route. Um, in previous versions, it would have gotten out sooner. I've had a lot of comments about, oh, maybe because, you know, your speed or because the average versus Mad Max setting. And, you know, I used it so much before, I knew how it worked. And it didn't seem to matter too much about being in Mad Max or cars being around or any of that stuff. It just, it didn't. And I knew when it was gonna do it and it just, it doesn't do it anymore, so. Open fart. So just for fun, little autopilot on the dirt here. Uh, I've done this several times before. I mean, now that these voice commands are working, they are very cool. Uh, you can, you know, almost anything you can think to say, like speed up the wipers. So now they're on one. Speed up the wipers. So now it should be on two. Yep, it's on two. Slow down the wipers. So now it's on one. So that's that's really convenient. All right, one more thing I wanted to try. I forget if I mentioned this earlier or not, but somebody had suggested that it has to do with your connectivity. Some people were saying um, the voice commands won't work over Wi-Fi. So you can see up here, I am on Wi-Fi in the top right. So if we try this, set seat heater to one. Okay, so that worked pretty much instantly. There was no problem there. So if I go ahead and go to Wi-Fi settings and turn off my Wi-Fi, uh, again, I get really bad service here, especially inside of my garage. So we can try one more time. Set seat heater to two. So now you can see it's not hearing me. Uh, if it was hearing me, it should be typing everything I'm saying. Even if it doesn't know what to do with that and doesn't uh, have a command to respond to me with, it should be typing it all. Um, so you can see here, I have three bars of LTE. So I'm not sure why it's showing that, but I know for a fact that in my garage, my reception is very bad. Um, and you can see here, it's still not picking up anything. If I click the button again, it goes away. Click it one more time. Set seat heater to one. So yeah, you can see it's not responding. Uh, and that is because we have a bad signal. So this is something you'll want to look out for if you have a poor signal, if you have low signal quality, then these voice commands will not be working for you, which makes perfect sense. That is one more thing I've noticed. Um, I think Tesla has removed the little stop sign graphic from the stop sign warning, maybe so people will stop testing it. I got a warning yesterday and it had the pedals down here and said take over, uh, but it didn't have the little stop sign graphic. So uh, that would be kind of weird if they took that out, but um, I haven't seen it 
uh, since this update. So let me know down in the comments any bugs that you've experienced with this update. Really my only one, uh, besides the passing lane thing, is the voice commands were not working. But that only lasted a couple days for me and it was fixed before this update released. I hope this was useful for you. I look forward to the conversation in the comments down below. You guys are always helping each other out. Um, and talking to each other about the bugs you're experiencing and things like that. So let me know anything else you've noticed. Um, besides the voice commands, this update has been really solid for me. Everything seems to be working really, really well. So thanks for watching and you will see me in the next video. Welcome to the end of the video. Oops. Welcome to the end of the video. It's question time. Uh, today is not exactly Tesla or car related, but I get this question really often. Hey, Dirty Tesla, what gear do you use to film your videos? Looks great. Well, uh, all of my gear is in the description of every video. If you look in the description, there's a bunch of links in there. And at the bottom, I have all my gear I use to film. So main camera I use for driving is just a GoPro Hero 7. Uh, and I got this mic attachment. I actually bought this on eBay. Uh, I paid 300 for the GoPro and this case and the mic attachment and a whole bunch of other stuff. And then to have the GoPro be a little lower, uh, I hang it off the roof and to make it lower, I use this stick. It's just like a fourth inch screw uh, extender or adapter or whatever. Um, I just screw it on here. So it's just like that. And I'll use this for other stuff too. And then the other thing I use is just my Galaxy S10. That's it. Um, so that's pretty much all I use to film. If I keep getting more patrons, you guys are going to force me to buy a nice expensive camera because my next Patreon goal is uh, $200 a month. And I said I would buy like a Sony A series camera. And Stephanie was like, what the heck? <laughs> but I'm gonna be honest, I never thought that I would ever even reach the first goal. But anyway, um, I may get that, which I'd love to film with. I don't think it's totally necessary, but it would improve the quality. Okay, thanks for watching. See you next time.